Hello, Pisces. This is your reading, you versus them. This reading is for March 10th through the 18th. Yes. <laughs> Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. <clears throat> Pisces. How did Pisces view this person? How did it feel about this person and the relationship? How did Pisces feel about this person and the relationship? Queen of Swords. Hmm. I feel like you guys felt that you always were trying to get to the core of an issue. Always trying to get to the truth with this person. Um, you always felt slighted. You always felt hurt. You always felt like you had to like dig to get to the bottom of issues. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. How did this person feel about Pisces in the relationship? How did this person feel about Pisces? Okay, in the relationship. Ten of Cups. They were very happy with you. They felt very loved by you. Hmm. You were everything that they wanted. I feel like you were the source of of them feeling um, complete here. Very happy with you. They thought you were happy as well. But I see that you were like always on guard, like watching out for bullshit. Hmm. What's currently going on with my Pisces? What's currently going on with Pisces? Let's see. What's currently going on with Pisces? Four of Swords, got a lot of ear energy going on right now. You're healing. You're healing. You're looking back at um, your past hurt with this person, your past relationship, because there were happy, good times. But I feel like they were always fleeting, though. You're wanting to just take some time out and figure shit out and figure out, like, you know, what do I do now? Leave her energy there. What's really going on with the other person? What's really going on with them? Six of coins. They're still up to their same shit, I feel. Taurus energy here. Um, they feel like they hold a key. They hold the key to uh, whether or not this relationship or any relationship for that matter, I feel whether it works out or not, this person has a lot of confidence. But the scales are not balanced here. I feel like this person is very selfish with their time, but they want you to devote all your time to them. I feel like there is a possibility that this person may be involved in another situation, but I don't I don't get that um, they're they're giving it all that they have is a thing. I don't I don't feel like that. I feel like they're always, even if they're not like physically involved with someone, it's it's like a situation where this person always wants to be needed, and it does not have to be an intimate situation. They like to be put up on a pedestal. They like to feel needed. They like to feel wanted. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like a fragile e ego going on here. What's influencing Pisces' current situation? What's influencing Pisces' current situation? Knight of Swords. Again, a lot of air going on right here. Um, 
but I do feel that you guys are like really in this mode of like thinking about shit, replaying shit. Um, don't get stuck in that replaying shit for too long, okay? But what's influencing you is the fact that I feel like you heard something that was very hurtful. You got some news that was very hurtful. And it was like the straw that broke the camel's back here with you. What's influencing this person's situation, current situation? What's influencing their situation? Chariot. They have to have someone around them. They have to have somebody that is is um, uh, making them feel like the big man on campus. Somebody, anybody, please, pat me on the back. They have to feel like they're winning. They're successful. Cancer energy there. Hmm. It's coming in for my Pisces. It's coming in for Pisces. It's coming in for Pisces. Ten of Swords. Why all these swords, guys? <sighs> Thinking way, way too much. Way too much. You'll get to the point where you're just overthinking shit. You'll get so far in your head till it's gonna be hard to dig dig your way out, okay? Um hmm. But in this Ten of Swords, I feel that if you look at this, because you've, you've, god damn, um, you've been very, very hurt in this situation here. But if you notice that, I feel like it is, you're working your way through this. You're working your way through this. And this card to me almost feels like death. Because there's a tomb over here. And it's like revisiting something that died. Saying goodbye to it. Saying goodbye to the conflict. The arguments. Those feelings that somebody has um, betrayed you. Lied to you. Letting go of that. You're about ready to start over. Just as soon as you realize the Ace of Swords is next. Just as soon as you realize that you can and will and deserve to do better. Guys, okay? You deserve to. You deserve this. You deserve to be happy. I feel like somebody really kind of messed with your head here. It's coming in for this person. It's coming in for them. It's coming in for them. Seven of Wands, they are flipped over. That Leo energy. It's coming in for them. That Leo energy there with that sign. Hmm. This person feels powerful. Their ego seems very, very big, but their ego is restricting them. I see them like needing to feel bigger than life, needing to feel successful. And I feel like they are really like getting a big head here. But their ego is restrictive. They feel like they're winning. They will feel like they've won. Right now they're being entertained by something else here. 
and it feels good to them. It feels good to them. I feel it all over here. It feels good to them, but they are so full of ego. And it's fleeting because as soon as they don't do something that um, somebody deems useful, then they're basically discarded is how that usually goes. <clears throat> what can Pisces expect from this person? What can Pisces expect from this person? Two of Swords. <laughs> Ambiguity. Ambiguity. For them not to make a decision. For them to ride the freaking fence. That's what you can expect from them. That Libra energy. All sorts here. All sorts here, guys. Okay. You can expect them to lead you on. If you don't choose to get off of this ride. Okay. What can this person expect from Pisces? What can this person expect from Pisces? What will you guys do? Page of Cups. I feel like a lot of you will still be right here. Your, your feelings are here. There's something about them. I mean, you're still kind of smitten with them. And I think they have built themselves up so big in your eyes till it's hard for them to it's hard for you to see them in any other way than a loving way. You just know how you feel about them. They are not what they seem. They are not what they seem at all. It's like a smoke and mirrors or something that they have going on here. There's something. There's something here. Okay. So that is what I have for you. And, um, yeah. I'm feeling the need to pull some uh, Romance Angels card for you guys. <clears throat> Pisces are so very sensitive and it always just, I don't know, it just gets my goat when you're reading go this way. <clears throat> Please give me a message for Pisces. Please give me a message for Pisces. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I don't feel like this is your great love. If this reading truly resonates for you, it's not going to be for everybody. But I'm talking to you, the one that it truly resonates with. This to me says, clear your energy, basically. You deserve love. Make the effort to fight these urges to hang on to their every word. You should take the back seat to no one. Okay? You take the back seat to no one. You shouldn't have to question every day of your relationship. That's not how healthy relationships go. It's really not. Okay, guys? So that is what i have for you and i'll be speaking with you guys soon namaste